house and another video in the Homestead Collection Soap Making Series that will be released on March 6th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, royaltysoaps.com. Now today is a frosted soap inspired by apple orchards. Whenever I was looking for pictures to sort of match the homesteading and farming theme, there were lots of really whimsical, beautiful photos of girls on old stools with these like flowy calico or linen skirts picking these plump juicy apples and their hair was all cascading around their shoulders and I tell you what it made me feel something fierce and I thought to myself I must memorialize this in a bar of soap. Today's video is very special because we have a sponsor, hooray! Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together to take their next step in whatever creative journey they're on. Whether you are interested in graphic design, photography, filmmaking and YouTube video production, marketing, or just general crafts. Skillshare has a fun and educational class for you. I am currently in my second Procreate class using Skillshare. Everything I know about creating banners and cool illustrations in Procreate, I have learned from a Skillshare class. I cannot tell you how helpful it has been for me and how it has jump-started my learning journey because I can tell you with certain things, especially trickier things like Photoshop, where there's a lot of different buttons and a lot of different options, it is really, really helpful to have somebody who is already an expert in that field break it down into little bite-sized morsels for those of us who have no idea what we're doing. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons so they can literally fit into any schedule, which is really great for me as a small business owner and a wife and mother of two. I can squeeze it into my nighttime routine and have an entire class finished in like four or five days. Because Skillshare is created for the sole purpose of learning, there are no ads or commercial breaks during your classes, and an annual membership is less than $10 a month. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down in the description box below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can go ahead and explore and expand your creative knowledge base. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and without further ado, let us make some apple orchard soap bars. Okay guys, let's make some apple orchard soap. I'm going to begin by pouring my lye water solution into my oils, glug, gluggity, glug, glug. Then I'm going to blend this up using my Cuisinart stick blender or Cuisine Art. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Cuisinart, 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 Cuisinart. And now that everything is blended, it's time for some maths. Now, I'm gonna be a little bit particular about how this soap is set up. So the first thing I have to do is figure out my batter weight. So I'm gonna tear out a container of the same size, place it on the scale, and we have 145 ounces. I need 36.2 ounces for my apple skin. Whoopsie, that was a little much. <laughs> okay, 38 ounces. Give or take a teeny tiny bit, it doesn't have to be exactly accurate. Now, before I even think about doing anything else, this has to go into our mold. I'm going to add some Trial by Fire Red. This is my favorite red color. There is none like it on the market. Believe me, I have looked. It's from Nurture Soap. Then I'm going to add the appropriate amount of fragrance oil. And it's blending time. <laughs> I have to wipe off my stick blender here because 
Well, the next color I'll be mixing up won't be red, so I'm gonna get off as much as I possibly can. Might even go rinse it off underneath the sink, just in case. Wipe down the edges, it's looking good, and now we can pour this into our two brambleberry molds. All right, let's start with this one over here, and I am gonna pour some, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna come over here and pour some on this side so that I have uh, the best gauge of whether or not these layers are level. Okay, base layer is in. It's still pretty runny. Look how reflective and shiny. It looks like there's a stripe down the middle that's a different color, but there's not. That's just the light reflecting in the soap. How cool is that? So now for this second layer, I'm going to pour off about 25 ounces of batter. And now it's time to color. So into our base container here, I'm adding 24 karat gold mica. This is from TKB Trading. We're gonna add some titanium dioxide. And then into this container, I'm adding some true yellow. True yellow is also from TKB Trading. I've added in the fragrance oil, so now I'm going to blend. <laughs> Okay, so now that everything is mixed up, I'm going to pour this accent color into one spot. Now, with as runny as everything still is, I have to be beyond careful when pouring this. Otherwise, it's just gonna dent that first layer. Um, it's gonna get really, really messy really fast. So, I'm gonna pour off a little bit into this smaller container first, and we're gonna pour that into our molds. I'm turning these on an angle so that I can pour it just a little bit better, and I'm gonna let you guys know I'm taking a risk <laughs> by pouring this early, but I kinda have to do it. So here we go. Okay, seems to be sitting up just fine. That's all I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna stop right there so that I can turn my molds around. This is the most careful I have been with a layered soap in a very long time. I picked this fragrance oil combination thinking it would set up a little more for me, and not so, clearly. I'm going to turn this, and I'm gonna do the same on this side, and I'm gonna continue to pour very, very carefully. Even though now I'm just covering the layer I already poured, it can still dent, so I still am very, very, very conscientious of that. Okay, let's go in for round two here. Being very, very gentle. Oh man, I can scarce talk. Okay, so now I have to tap these down. That was excruciating. Whew, okay, I can finally breathe again. I'm still gonna be careful pouring these layers in, but that first one, man oh man, I had to be beyond careful. <laughs> this soap is taking much longer to make than my other frosted soaps, but I just know that it's going to be worth it. So I'm just going to go with the flow, finish out these designs here, make sure that all of these tops are as flat as I can get them, and I think they will be because everything is very runny. And I'll tell you guys my secret sauce fragrance oil blend for Apple Orchard. It is a 50-50 blend of red delicious apple from Nature's Garden and apple sage from Brambleberry. And I tell you what, it it's inspiring. <laughs> Just makes you wanna go apple picking and then on a picnic. No big deal. This fragrance just makes me want to have healthier life habits. All right, guys, I'm not gonna tap this down. I can see good and well that that top is flat. I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes and then <laughs> we will move along to the frosting. Listen, you guys aren't ready for this. Look at this soap frosting and look, it's green. I've caught some flack recently for people saying that I hate the color green because I almost never use it in soaps. I don't hate it. It's just hard to work with. And I love color schemes that involve pinks and oranges. 
Um, and greens and yellows just don't make it in very often. I don't hate them. I treat all colors equally. I just prefer to work with certain colors over others. But for this soap, I wanted a really sharp contrast. And I also wanted to create an apple with the two layers of like red, red delicious apple peel and like the apple flesh, which is the worst thing you can call it. I've heard it called apple flesh and I've heard it called the meat of the apple. Both are unacceptable. We need to find new words. Anyways, like I said, I don't hate the color green. Here it is looking pretty. Green just has to be used in a very appropriate manner. You can't just go splattering it around everywhere. But I'm really, really digging this combo. It looks so pretty. And I tried to pick a green that has some more yellow in it. And then I also tried to pick a green that was deeper. And so when they're mixing together, it's the perfect contrast. And it's also different than the apples I'll be putting on top. So I tried to get three different types of green in here, which was using all of the color skill that I uh, admittedly did not have a lot of <laughs> to complete. You guys, it's getting to be quite late at night. It's around 1130. And I know for some of y'all that isn't very late, but I try to keep a pretty strict sleep schedule. Uh, I do have children and they wake up at the same time no matter how late i have stayed up <laughs> honestly no matter how late they have stayed up either what is that with kids when they're just like hey i know i went to bed at 11 o'clock because we were over at a friend's house and it's a very unusual night but um I'm still getting up at 6.45. <laughs> and one of two things happens when it gets late at night for me. Either like cuckoo crazy uh, late night Katie comes out or the Katie who really wants her bed and uh, wants to watch cat ASMR comes out. And um, that's what we're working with right now. There is a YouTube channel where this lady gives her cat like a pet spa treatment. I will link it down below. Amazing content, 10 out of 10. So now I'm going to take some of this Eco Stardust Chunky Emerald Glitter and we're going to, you know, bedazzle the top. Just gonna dip my brush in and sprinkle it down the sides and on top too, because I will have embeds on the sides, but I won't have any embeds on top. So I might focus most of it on the top of the soap. Little tap, tap, get the rest of that on there. Do we need a little hollow? I feel like we do. Never enough, never, never. Fun fact. Never seen The Greatest Showman before. Okay guys, are you ready for this? Just wait, just you wait until you see these embeds. They are something spectacular. Look at those apples. Are these Fuji apples? Are they, there, there's another one. There's a Fuji apple. Gosh darn, it starts with an M. Is it Macintosh? I don't remember. There's a couple of different apples that have this red and gold. I'm really impressed with Shelly's abilities. She did a really good job. Every time I try to do a color blend or a color meld like that, I just end up with something like split right down the middle or uh, completely mixed together. And she always knows how to get it right at the perfect spot. And we color match these green apples to real like Granny Smith green apples. So am I thrilled? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We're just gonna stuff these on one side here and then on the other side here. I do have to push them in quite a bit. We have to make sure that they will fit inside shipping boxes and will not break along the way. Do you wanna know how to cut an apple correctly? Skillshare will teach you how to cut not only apples, but anything that needs cutting and how to properly hold a knife. I talked about that last month and Caleb has since mentioned it because apparently his uh, cutting skills have gotten so much better. Brush up on those cutting skills. Your significant other is sure to notice. Okay, apple soap number one done. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And now we're going to move along to this one. So I've put it at an angle 
angle here just for some visual interest. <laughs> you know me, I like to keep it spicy. Apples, my preferred snack growing up. Also my preferred fruit. My mom tried to get us to eat a pretty balanced meal for lunch. So everybody had to pick a fruit to eat with their sandwich and chips and like carrots or something. And I always picked an apple because it was between that or clementines. And I feel like you're safer with an apple. Uh, clementines and oranges can be a toss up because there is nothing worse than an orange that is dry. And then your mom making you eat it anyway. Admittedly, you can get a bad apple too. I mean, like you can get a mushy one, but I feel like it's more predictable because you can just kind of touch the outside and know whether that apple is not gonna be good. My mom had an apple corer peeler slicer. Any of y'all's moms fancy like that? I have thought about that since as an adult and I'm like, that is like having an egg slicer. <laughs> It feels like that level of ridiculous to me. And I know she didn't have it because she was making pies. So I, I, I want an explanation as an adult. Ooh, that is my question of the day. What is like a superfluous kitchen instrument that you have that you can't live without? And you're like, listen, I know it's ridiculous. I have a cherry pitter. Sue me. I eat cherries all the time and it's delightful. I want, I want things like that. Please fill me in. And I only say that because I made my mom a cake this year that was a black forest cake. And I saw somebody on YouTube, I'll have to link it if I can find it, use a cherry pitter didn't even know those things existed because I was watching his tutorial on how to make the cake. And then like my life has changed. I cannot believe people actually use them. But honestly, how unique. Okay, so are we impressed? Yes, yes, we are impressed. Finally, a green I can get behind. <laughs> look, look with your special eyes. My brand. <laughs> So I'm delighted. I know that the color will change slightly, but I'm choosing to forget about that and just focused on the absolute delight that is this apple orchard soap. So we're gonna wait 18 to 24 hours. That green is gonna mellow out and be even prettier. And then we'll come back and we will cut up these loaves into bars so that we can take a peek at the inside after this quick commercial break. Oh my gosh, guys, this soap smells amazing. And look how much happier the green is the next day. I told you it would look better. Okay, so I have to turn it on its side because those are some mighty large embeds. <laughs> Just gonna line this up. Everything is where it's supposed to be for once in its life. <laughs> Let me just pull out one of the middle pieces here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm obsessed. This definitely looks like something that could be on like a teacher's desk for a teacher's gift. The smell, so good. I wanna smell it again, let me see. Yes, mmm, yes, definitely a crisp apple smell, big fan. Also, I really like having this kind of goldy color sandwiched between these two reds. I don't know what it is about this whole thing, but it just feels so complete and put together to me. I would absolutely die if there was an apple orchard in my backyard. The question of the day is, what is your favorite type of apple? Mine has changed over the years. It definitely was a Granny Smith when I was a kid and they were more expensive to buy so we didn't get them as often. But I really like to eat just a regular old red delicious apple with peanut butter, especially crunchy peanut butter. Oh, that sounds so good right now. My mom always says that red delicious apples are peasant apples. <laughs> I'm like, no mom, I'm sorry. I think she's had too many bad ones because they do have a tendency to be more mealy than other apples. But if you find yourself a nice crispy red delicious, like that's, that's good stuff. Enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe 
to the channel. Maybe leave me a comment down below. What other soaps do you think I will be making in the Homestead collection? I want to know your guesses. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Once again, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click that link down below in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. You can follow me on TikTok or Instagram for more soapy fun. And I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Be sure you go out and do something fun for yourself today, whether that is testing out maybe a different apple type you've never tried before. Check your local market, see what they have. Also, if you don't have a local market and you're in the United States, Whole Foods and Central Market typically have a very broad selection of apples, I'm just saying. Or maybe making an apple dessert, like an apple cake, an apple pie. Mmm, that sounds so good right now. I don't care what you do, just be sure you do a little something for yourself today. We are getting a little closer into spring. I know so many of you guys are still in really cold weather where you live, but I hope that this collection and these videos are helping you feel a little warmer, reminding you that sunshine and beautiful days are coming. So hang in there, we're almost there, and it's almost Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, whichever one you like to celebrate. So that's something else to look forward to. Maybe I'll make that a theme this month as I just keep telling you things that you get to look forward to. There's fun stuff coming, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, have an absolutely royal day. And bye for now. Meow.